Hello, I'm Linda Dolkey. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Australia. And today I have something simple to show you, but I think you're really going to like it. I want to show you how to get a really subtle effect with your background stamps um, so that it forms a beautiful background without overwhelming your feature, which in this case is this beautiful flower that I've stamped on here. So I want to show you just how, how easy it is to get a subtle background. And all you need is a background stamp. The one I'm using today is called Sheet Music. It's a new favorite stamp set of mine. Um, I just need to make sure I always have my music going up the right way. There we are. There it is. Um, and all I'm doing is I'm going to use a piece of very vanilla cardstock as my base. So that's what I've used here, very vanilla. And I'm using some soft suede ink. You could use any color you like, but soft suede is a great color if you're going for more of an antique or a vintage look. And that's what I wanted here. So I'm just popping a sponge this is actually one of our stampin sponges they come about so big they're round but i chop mine up into small pieces because obviously they go a lot further if you do that um, and use them for different colors and i'm just going straight into the ink pad with the soft suede ink and i'm just going to randomly sponge over this but i'm going to leave some spaces because i actually want kind of a patchy look and then i'm actually going to pop my piece of vanilla cards straight onto the stamp. Now if you have been following along with my videos, I did do one a couple of weeks ago where I showed lots of tips on how to use background stamps and this is one of the tips is um, using them upright and putting your cardstock onto them rather than trying to put them onto your cardstock and um, and I find you get better contact if you do this. So I'm just going to pop a piece of scrap paper over the top of that, give it a bit of a rub and perfect I've got this kind of patchy look so it's it's uh, hit and miss where my ink has gone because I applied it with a sponge in such a patchy way and that is perfect for what I want because I'm going to be stamping I'll just bring in a stamping mat it's always good if you're using photopolymer or the acrylic stamps to have a mat underneath your surface to provide you with that cushioning and give you a better stamping surface. Um, and I'm going to use um, Marina Mist, which is a lighter blue colour, with the larger stamp here. This stamp set is called Painted Harvest and it is just beautiful. I've got the pointiest part of the stamp going straight up so it makes it easy for me to line my stamps up. I'm just going to do a couple so you can see. I'm not going to go and do the whole thing. And then I've also, in Night of Navy, a darker colour. I've got a second layer. This is a smaller stamp that goes over the top of the first one. This is a two-step set. When you're lining these up, you have the pointy bits, the biggest pointy bits going in the same direction, but the easiest way to line them up is actually with the circle in the middle. If you line up that circle, then it's going to be pretty much perfect every time. And if it isn't perfect, don't worry. It's not meant to look perfect anyway it's meant to give you a kind of a watercolored effect so it looks like it's been painted hand painted and it is quite beautiful i don't know if you can see that there all right so you can see that because my stamping underneath with my music is so light it hasn't interfered at all with the stamp when i've gone over the top with these two colors and it's quite a stunning effect um, once you've done there's also a center a center one that goes here in the middle here I'll go back to my original sample you see I've stamped in the middle with the center one um, and then I've also added some leaves from the same set uh, the set is called painted harvest this is actually coming out in our new catalog that comes out tomorrow the first of September and it is just the most beautiful set I love the words but I really love these beautiful painted images they look amazing when you put them on you can use all different color they look like if you do it in yellow they look like a sunflower you can do them in any color combination you really lo you like but I really liked the marina mist and navy combination here um, if you wanted it to be brighter than mine I think it would look good with old olive leaves which is a brighter green but I wanted my card to look quite vintage so I went with the darker color which is always artichoke so completely up to you about how you decide to do your colors but you can see how it all comes together just with this lovely bit of um, music in the background there and I've done multiples of these. I'm, I've got a whole bunch of cards I'm working on at the moment. I've finished them off with some burlap trim and, and some uh, gold sparkle, because you've got to have sparkle, right? And, um, and that's how it comes together. Isn't it beautiful? So enjoy that. I hope that background tip was useful to you, and I'll be back again soon with something more for you. Bye! Mm -hmm.